This is Tim from Toy Tinker Tim, and <clears throat> some of my personal favorites in my collection are the G.I. Joes, um, particularly the 70s uh, Adventure Team G.I. Joes. Uh, I just thought it was neat. The uh, getting just to use your imagination and having them out look for the uh, missing mummies or disasters or animals, the deep sea diving, uh, diver suits and uh, retrieving radioactive satellites and whatnot. So one of the items I got was a uh, Adventure Team Commander who talks. He's the Talking Joe. So the cord, the line, is color-coded. It's gotten a little faded over the years but it was a guide to let you know when you got to a certain color you'd kind of learn uh, the first red mark meant this, the second blue mark meant this and these colors have got a little faded on there, it's a little hard to read uh, but his voice is getting a little garbled, a little hard to understand, let's listen so He's saying the adventure team is needed in Africa. Let's try this again once more here. I think this is the mark. No, so I got the wrong thing there. That was, I think, contact adventure team headquarters right away. So let's try this again. Mm hmm. Let's try this. There we go. So, <clears throat> uh, there's a speaker box. I don't think there's anything wrong with the, the speaker. Uh, sometimes the little uh, diaphragm in there gets cracked. I think it's just the, the mechanism itself uh, could probably use a little bit of cleaning. I know what would happen, you know, instructions were you don't put this guy in water. So some kids did, though. They, you know, it's G.I. Yeah, Joe, man. Um, but yeah, I, as far as the best of my knowledge, he was never submerged. Uh, at least, like I say, to my knowledge. Let's try this once here. Yeah, he just kind of muffled and garbled, so we're going to take a look here, see what we can do to improve that uh, voice box in him here. So we're going to go ahead and get ready to open them up here. Um, you know, it's kind of interesting when you think about it that it was made this way with just some screws to hold that together. Nowadays, I'm sure uh, safety regulations, whatever, would prohibit this kind of a thing. It would all be riveted, you know, in a permanent manner so kids wouldn't take it apart and choke themselves on it or something. But anyhow, all right. Let's see. Let's, I'm I'm purposely kind of squeezing, holding these halves tightly, because uh, I don't want it to just suddenly spring and pop open and things shoot all over the place <clears throat> before I even get a chance to see how was it together. Um, so let's find out. Come on. There we go. All right, the moment of truth here. Maybe it won't just come apart. <laughs> okay, I think it is starting to come apart though. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> okay, let's see. I need some of that elevator music playing in the background here. Ouch, okay. I think I got a hold of the an edge here. I'm gonna tilt him up here once. I'll try from down here. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna gently put him down here. All right. Interesting. So his head goes on in a similar way that the uh, <clears throat> arms and shoulders do here. Alright. 
We'll carefully set those things off to the side. And um, just kind of do a look over there. Turn that. It's, wow, it's really greasy. Uh, <laughs> just trying to get an idea here of the mechanism and everything. So I'm going to give them a pull here once. Get a hang of that. I'm thinking, okay, because you know it's a big thing, right? Um, yeah, I'm just watching these lines. I think this black that's spooling from here to here has the sound recorded on it. Uh, it's all smooth at the beginning of the string. There's no sound as you keep pulling down uh, and it gets into the sound. Now you'll see these lines coming through there. So like a, like a record, uh, instead of in a circular, it's on a strip. So those lines are the recording. So I believe this is what it is. I'm not really interested in taking out this mechanism entirely. It looks, or feels, I should say, like it's just sitting there. I think that's all it is. Yeah, it just sits into place. Hmm. Do I dare? Let's dare. Sure. Catch it on video. Let's see what happens. Okay. So yeah, there's a speaker. It's a little... I don't know. You know, I don't know the terms, folks, but a little purplish plastic uh, hitting on that green dot in the speaker would be the amplifier. And your sound's really coming through in that little purple peg like thing there. Uh, that would be like your needle playing off the record. And uh, so no, speaker is not damaged by any means. Uh, the little sponge I think is just to kind of keep dirt out, debris from coming through the hole as it plays. So. That's something I'll keep a track on here, but yeah, as far as I know, that's the sound there. Alright, so I'm going to see here once, and that is really greasy, so why, I mean, just to try to help... Uh, keep the integrity of the sound in that speaker. I imagine they try to prevent things from vibrating in the torso so that the sound isn't so distorted. But um, yeah, it's, it's interesting here. So, all right, I'm gonna see about a cleaner here and we'll come back here for cleaning that black uh, plastic tape there with the sound recording on it. Okay. So there's been a few developments along the way here. Uh, <clears throat> if you've done some home remodeling in an older home, you'll know starting out on a project to do one thing and it kind of ends up turning into something else because uh, one thing leads to the other. So that's what's happened here. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, one thing I had kind of shown on the previous where I was going to try to clean this tape with the alcohol. Uh, easiest way because I was trying to pull it and clean it. Okay, just pull your talker cord out. Okay, and then uh, either finger, whichever hand, um, kind of hold that down. And then take your uh, Q 
Q-tip with the alcohol on it here and uh, place that on there and then with the back finger just lightly let up on it and it kind of winds itself so then you can get a nice clean uh, that way on that recorded strip in there easiest way okay so uh, so there's that uh, I did everything just sits in place there's it's just notched there's no actual screws or spring whatever to hold this into place um, I did try to clean out some more in between through here the little needle that glides back and forth on there and uh, again the speaker it's just notched there's no uh, adhesive or anything involved it just sits in place so I just took that out and cleaned that good so here's the uh, the bigger issue so as I was <clears throat> just trying to do a realign and fit here and um, placing the back back on and checking the sound the one arm kept coming out and uh, I thought what, what in the world is wrong so what's happened is as you can see on the other arm there's this little uh, gasket like washer thing that fits uh, between this little hinge piece and the shoulder like so and it had cracked and so whenever I turned the arm it just would come out so without that in place the arm just flops all over the place there's nothing there to give it a, a tension a tighter fit in there so I looked at this one and I can see on here uh, there's something good to point with here there we go you can see this one's um, starting to get a crack up in there too uh, so it's just a matter of time this one's gonna go too so um, I took a look on Cotswold because they've I've known in the past had a lot of replacement parts and things for repairing figures so they have a little kit uh, it's very inexpensive with these little caps and these little pegs then for you to be able to repair your talker so I thought it's not bad but I thought I don't really want to replace these I just want to try to replace that but duh. Uh, on a non-cracked version this has to uh, go around that base which means you're going to have to take out this rivet and remove that slide on the little cap and then reattach it and re-rivet it so I'd like to find a way without having to take out something uh, original for the repair I'd like to keep as much intact and uh, so that's where the other project is come up now uh, beyond just trying to clean up the talker box it's now turned into a whole shoulder repair process so and uh, I've got an experiment underway already and I will update with that